Hello guys and welcome to LEGO XT4 Part 3. I'm, fortunately it's probably going to take 15 minutes for no reason, since I'm being really hyper. I don't know why, but I'm going to try to speed this up. So now you have the original piece, like everybody knows about that, but now it's all sleek and awesome. So Then you take the no friction piece, take it right here, and then click it in. It doesn't click, I don't care. Um... Then you take the awesome business end of this whole thing, the circle blade saw. So that spins, and that's really awesome. And then you put its weapon together. So you just put that on there. Now it's laser gun beam. Laser. And then you just put the one claw right there. One claw right there. And one thing that you can do with this figure is you can move them both down and scissor them. So, if you had two more of these, which you might probably have, I don't. Um, sorry. And you can scissor them so they're just kind of like a claw. And it that's more physical purpose. And those scissor together. But according to the instructions... Just snap them together. And I guess they can hold like logs, oblong, stuff like that. Click that into here. Unfortunately, it wobbles around. Well, not like it can wobble around if you move that. I wish it could stay a little bit more still, but you can't have everything. You'd have to build it yourself, so. So that looks cool already. Putting a whole thing in it, hopefully. Because I can't see, because my dumb tripod. Um, and then you just put the spike up here, and the spike up here. I know that that fell, and I don't care. But you do. <laughs> okay, so. Now, basically, it's done. All you just have to do is add the accessories. And you add the eye, so it gives it some life. And I'm just gonna take these on. And I have a bonus for you guys right now. So, the guys that do play this game, I will give you guys the code. And that will be fun for the first guy, or girl, that knows of the game, because I don't really care about the game, so. Oh, for these, you just plug the hoses into his thing, and pop them in. There. Unfortunately, the whole thing's in the way of his head, so you're going to have to move that up. And so... I think it looks pretty dang stupid. I hate these hoses, they just get in the way of everything. Okay. Yeah. So, that's what he looks like in whole. Yeah. Let me see if we can get the whole thing on camera. There, that's better. Probably got none of that on camera. But, you know. Whatever. So, now I'm just gonna do the review of him, basically. So, I have a little bit more time. So, this... I think it looks like an awesome figure. The things move in and out, and see, as you can see, they do not like. They, it's basically physically impossible for them actually to meet. But it could hold like logs, and it's probably snap stuff or stuff, and it's laser beam that can cut stuff in the thing. Maybe I don't watch the cartoon. Um, and then it just has spikes on here, and they all move, and on this, let me give you a side look. So it's actually, you know, it's, it's a small figure, but it's also kind of big. It's a good figure. And then, if you didn't have the hose in, this would spin. And it has the legs and the eyes. And so, I guess what you guys has been, guys and girls, have been... Waiting for is the code. You can't read that, obviously. Obviously, but I'll give it to you. 
and I'll articulate. So it is A F X N M G Q line 20. And that gives you 200 points, so that'll be cool. Thanks for watching my video, guys, and have fun with this figure because it's a great figure to buy. Cheap ish. And I think it's a really cool collection figure, so. Thanks for watching my videos, guys, and see you on my next video. Goodbye.